Now with me in the studio again is Pastor Godwin Obin Beneful, pastor of Myros International Church. Pastor, welcome to the new day. Thank you, Selma. <laughs> Please, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. So this morning we're talking about purpose. Yes. As in what your purpose is in life. Yes. Will you agree with me that there are so many people walking around today without necessarily knowing their purpose? I totally agree with you. Um, Sama, I want you, first of all, there are even people who don't know what you're talking about when you say purpose. Purpose, yes. And so we're saying that purpose is that which you were created for. Yes. The reason why you're on this earth. And so um, everybody that was given birth to is to complete an assignment, so to say. Yes. And there are a lot of people that are working, working around on this earth who have no idea what they are here to do. Yes. And so I, I, I therefore agree with you that there are a lot of people working around that have no purpose, per se. Yeah. Wow, that is terrible. That is really sad to not know what your purpose is, to not know what to do when you wake up in the morning, to not know what to do to improve in whatever at all you find yourself in. That is sad. Um, it's important to know your purpose in life and by what age should you know, should you have it figured out? Mm. Summer is not a clear cut um, thing. Everybody has, has a specific time, let's say. But purpose is, is not an event, it's a process. So every day you wake up, every time you have life, every time that you're still breathing, you're actually in your purpose. But the thing is, your purpose is in God. So the only time you get to identify what your purpose is, is going back to your maker. Wow. God is the one that made you. So he put a purpose in your life. So um, is there a point where it's too late to discover your purpose? Okay, I think I, I didn't even answer your first question. But what I'm saying is that once you get back to God, mm -hmm. And he is the one that is going to instill in you because he's the one that orders the path of the righteous. There's no set age for you to discover your purpose. There's this young um, old man, KFC owner. He was as old, I think, 70 years before he realized that, well, his best choice is to go into frying chicken. And that is what is making him a hit. Mm -hmm. Noah had to stay for 500 years before he was told to start building the ark. And he did it for 120 years. I Moses, think if you put it like this, this youth of today might think they have a lot of time ahead of them. No, to but there purpose. are people as young as eight years, the lad who gave his five loaves of bread and two fishes to Jesus Christ in the, in, in, in the, in the mount where he was doing his sermon, you can say that was his purpose, but he was as, o as old as eight years. That's young. And yet he was in there to fulfill his purpose. What I'm saying is that every day that passes, you are in your purpose. Connect to God. And walking with God, he is the one that orders your step onto your purpose. Your purpose is a process. It's not an event. Your purpose is the little things that you do which brings happiness to your heart, which brings joy to your heart. Lending a hand to another person. Mm -hmm. Going to visit the sick. Mm -hmm. Showing kindness to another person helping the one who is needy. All of these things that you do is actually in your purpose. It is in bits and it is in pieces. Your purpose is not a profession. Wow. So it is not tied to an age. Wow, wow, amazing. So you wrote a book on this. Yeah. What inspired you? Okay, so the Bible says that no man receives a thing unless it comes from heaven or it comes from God. Yes. So the inspiration actually came from, from God, I would say. As a young pastor, as I set out to prepare out what to teach the congregation, um, the Lord dropped this in my heart that every human being that you sit down, there are questions that you ask your, yourself in this life and you want to find answers to them. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions that you want to ask yourself is, who am I? Yes. Because once you know who you are, then that, that's when you begin to find out what you have then you can think about what you can make use of what you have to bring a meaning to this life that you live. So you need to know who you are. You need to know where you are. When I talk about where you are, I'm talking about 
your your state, not your location. Exactly. Uh, we make a joke with you Adam. You need to identify who you are exactly. first, who you are, your position, before even thinking of what to do next with your life. Exactly, exactly. Great, great, great. So um, what are your last words for us, please? Okay, all right. So uh, everybody out there, I'm telling you that just some people who think that purpose is hiding somewhere you need to find it. Yeah. Your purpose is a big bang. It's a huge event that brings you to the limelight. I am telling you today that live every day of your life purposefully. Yeah. Find God, walk in his will. Once you start, he orders steps towards what he's meant you to do. Don't waste your life waiting until that day which you'll be brought to the limelight. There's no day like that. It is the pieces of every day you live that culminates together, which is your process that is presented onto the world as your product, which is your purpose. Thank you very much. Um, everyone, please, this is the book. It is um, the seven double... Double use. Double use. Yes. Right, please get one.